right here with a uh, BYU outfielder. Oh, and by the way, tight end, Matt Bushman. What have the last 48 hours been like for you since that spring game? Um, it's been pretty fun. My parents were in town, so we had a good time just. I mean, it was a fun game, obviously, fun scrimmage. I was able to just go out and do my best, and it was fun just talking about the experience with my family. Well, your, your best was pretty good on Saturday. When you think about, I mean, because, you know, obviously you, when you signed with BYU, this a couple of years ago, and, and you've went on your mission already. So what's it like to be back in full football mode and, and doing those things that, uh, that you love to do? I mean, it's something that I've always been wanting to do. So it's nice to actually be here and actually participate in it. Um, it was hard getting back into shape, but I'm grateful that I was able to have, I mean, a good route. Gain some weight, get stronger, and now um, just start learning more and more at the practices and be able to just run some good routes, try to catch the ball in the rain. So humble. Look at look how humble you are. Uh, what did your baseball teammates have to say when uh, you came to, to practice today? Um, I think they're a little bit surprised just because when I'm at practice, I'm not really talking about football too much. I'm talking more about baseball. So I think they're a little shocked that um, I got more playing time than expected. I think that's what shocked them. Are you surprised at the the playing time that you've gotten to this point or the reps that you've been involved in? Um, a little bit. There's some older guys that are injured right now, so I knew I'd be getting reps in the spring. That's what the coaches were telling me. But I mean, I'm just grateful for the opportunity that I was able to get these reps and hoping that I can see the field a little bit in the, in the fall. So from a baseball standpoint, for those that, I mean, obviously most people know that that you're you're involved in both sports, in football and basketball. For those that may not necessarily know what the situation is, what is, how are you handling both sports right now? Um, so right now, since I signed and accepted the football scholarship in the spring, I've been doing mostly, I mean, 100% football. And then baseball, I come to the practices, I dress out in the games and once that's over, I think the coaches are going to let me participate more fully in baseball and just keep getting better. That's kind of the plan right now. What is your uh, goal in the game of baseball? The game of baseball? Um, right now, I'm just, just trying to play. I mean, I just, Brock's a great player in the right field, so I know my role. I'm backing him up right now, and if I get a shot, I'm going to do my best. But right now it's been really awesome seeing him succeed. And my goal is just to see where it takes me. How difficult is it, or maybe it's not, I don't know, but when you're training for football and training for baseball, I mean, it's completely different. So how does that aspect, um, how, how has that been in terms of the training being completely different with both sports? Right. With football, the workouts are really intense. The practices are really intense. The practices at base are a little bit more laid back, but it's still a big mental game. Um, it's a lot of technique. So when I go to my second workout that I'm going to go do, I do more of a, it's not the core lifts that I do in the morning. I do more shoulders, back, so I can get that stronger for baseball. So the football trainers are helping me out with that. They can understand that I'm still trying to succeed as a baseball player too. All right, Matt, appreciate the time. Thank you. Have a good one.